Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but now let's talk about none other than internet computer itself. You know, if we're looking at the majority of the market right now, you know, the market seems to be pumping up quite a bit. You can pretty much see this for yourself. And, you know, that is, of course, lovely to see. So what has happened is, you know, Bitcoin has finally, finally closed back above the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level, which I've been discussing for quite some time. And as I was expecting, you know, that close was really, really important because, you know, um, you know, I was expecting that the entire market is going to follow that. And that's what exactly we're seeing right now um, as we can speak so you know let's take a look at icp of course see what is happening with icp and of course what is yet to come so if we're looking at the price it's up five percent on the daily time frame with the price currently sitting at twelve dollars and 46 cents and it's also up 1.6 percent in btc comparative over the past 24 hours market cap right now is currently sitting at 5.7 billion dollars and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at 98.6 million dollars not looking bad at all of course but let's take it a step further and see what is happening with the price but before I do that as always just a quick disclaimer for everyone anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so I want to start off with this you can see this for yourself you know this is of course a poll I did and ask you guys the community members as to what I could see happening um, and you can see Bitcoin finally above 43,700 resistance will we close the daily candle above it so you can see we did end up closing above that 43,700 resistance and of course you know the entire market is reacting to that in a really positive way you know for looking at bitcoin dominance you know bitcoin dominance is picking up a little bit but um you know not much has changed in terms of the btc dominance index uh, but you know if you're looking at bitcoin you know this is something that we wanted to see this right here is everything we wanted the bitcoin a price to do which was close back above that key resistance mark and we have done it on february the 7th and um you know um, now what we're seeing happening with Bitcoin, if you did watch my Solana and Caspa update, you know, I was talking about this resistance around $44,679. You know, this resistance is exactly where we're finding ourselves uh, having a hard time. But if we're able to break out of here, we could even see a Bitcoin pushing up to $45,852. And I would not be surprised at all if that is does happen next but you know great great uh, move right here uh, this is something as you know we were expecting since we broke below it on the 12th of January we're almost approaching a month you know, this is the first time we actually broke back into the uh, 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level. So that is lovely to see. But now let's take a look at the price of ICP. So, of course, right here is what we were discussing yesterday. I kind of still have these, um, you know, highlighted things. Um, let me just kind of get rid of that. So what we're seeing happening is exactly what we wanted the price of ICP to do. So as of now, you know, if you're looking at it on the daily time frame, which it's currently at now, or if we're looking at the hourly time frame, the both exact ways right now, um, you know, you're seeing the upwards trajectory that is forming for ICP. Uh, let me bring this out for you guys. We lost the chart. There we are. Let me go on the hourly time frame. There we are. So what you're seeing happening is you know that support the exact same support at eleven dollars and eighty cents this time did play out for us and we saw a bounce from that so if you were one of the um you know few uh people that were accumulating around the support line you are instantly up 6.78 percent right off the bat but what you're starting to see happening now you know of course if you're looking at the hourly time frame it's more on a closer time scale so you kind of see what exactly is happening you're seeing uh a huge amount of resistance around this level and right now we are facing some resistance as the price is breaking towards the upside um, you know if we're able to clear this resistance I could see you know the price of ICP pushing back up to $13.67 really really fast and that is the key level if you want to talk about key levels that is the very very important level for internet computer to actually break out of and you know we could potentially even start heading towards a new yearly high if this happens Happens. look at the significance of this resistance if you are uh, still needing a reminder I will remind you the importance of this resistance you could pretty much see since we broke below uh, you know that level of support back on the 5th of January which was a month back we saw several attempts not just one we saw several different attempts to actually try breaking out of here we did see several breakouts but none of them managed to actually close back above that resistance and even just a few days back on the February 3rd we did see uh, this uh, 
um, resistance being rejected and then of course we did see that pullback and that was of course due to BTC as well but you know we're forming the upward trajectory and this is something that you want to be seeing happening right now higher highs higher lows I'm expecting something like this to play out which I discussed in my yesterday's update and I'm very very confident that we will see something happen like this for ICP and of course once we break into uh, this $13.64 level um, you know this resistance and actually turn into support I think it's gonna just push into towards a new yearly high because like I said this would mean a close um, you know above this resistance uh, for the first time in about a month so that is going to of course trigger a lot of interest automatically from traders and people that actually understand the overall chart so that's how I'm currently looking at ICP chart is looking absolutely amazing uh, but I want to know from you guys what you guys personally think right now uh, with ICP do you think we will see a retest of back down to nine dollars and seventy six cents uh, before we hit a new yearly high if you want to put that part into perspective that's a significant drop 21.1 percent drop uh, for that to happen you know for that to happen, you know, BTC would need to require to retest $39,000 once again, in my opinion, um, because you know if you bring that into perspective, that is a move of about 12.96%. And usually, you know, altcoins do tend to drop double if Bitcoin sees significant retracements like this. So we could potentially see uh, that happening if now hear me out if Bitcoin retraces back down to that level. And of course, uh, we know. Uh, BTC can be manipulated quite heavily um, you know as the overall market start getting extremely bullish you know what the whales tend to do they try to do the opposite to shake out the weak hand so um, you know best way to kind of stay away from getting wrecked is not leverage trading you know the amount of people that have been caught leverage trading and actually losing everything is astonishing and this is why I've been emphasizing on my channel from the beginning that you know if you are a viewer on the crypto ZX channel I'm totally against leverage trading platforms I'm not going to name any of these leverage trading platforms but I've been offered thousands of dollars literally I've been offered thousands and thousands of dollars to talk about it but um, you know I choose not to because I care about my viewers because my viewers are like family to me because if it was for money right uh, you know like people say uh, usually people it's really hard for people to turn down thousands of dollars and I can assure you I've been offered you know a really decent amount of money but you know I choose not to uh, because you know I'm totally against it and I don't believe in it myself so you know you want to be actually staying away from leverage trading don't believe anyone on Twitter that's saying oh you know you're gonna make a lot of money even if the market is going down it's manipulation of course you know money can be made but trust me 99% of the time you do end up losing money somehow <laughs> um, and learn from me I've lost thousands and thousands of dollars leverage trading you know when I was new to the markets and I would never never recommend that to anyone but that is it for today's update let me know in the comments what you guys personally think I appreciate each and every one of you guys for showing uh, support day in day out love you all see you tomorrow in crypto ZX and peace out